Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS and today I'm going to be taking a look at the new notes features that have been added in iOS 11. So the notes app in iOS 11 once it's been ad has had a few new features added to make it a more productive and useful app to be in. So I'm going to start by just going into notes. So you could obviously use the icon in the dock. If, so if you want to find out how to use multitasking features which include the dock then somewhere up here right now you'll find the link to that video. I'm just going to use this icon here and enter notes. So I'm going to show you the in-app features first and then we'll go through some of the new settings that have been added uh, which allow you to tweak things. So the first new feature I'm just going to tap on the keyboard here to bring uh, you know this toolbar up and I'm going to go through everything on the toolbar. So this is what I mean by the little toolbar here and the first new feature is tables so you've now actually got the, uh, the ability to add tables into your notes so if I tap table uh, as you can see up here I don't know if you can see that very clearly um, but over here I've got a, a table uh, let me just move my iPad in here actually so you can see it a bit better um, I've got a table over here and what this allows me to do is just input data as I want so obviously I'm not going to put any data in much but couple of letters just as placeholder text um, just for now obviously I haven't got any proper data to put in but you get the idea you can have tables and you can add uh, you can rearrange the columns and the rows by simply just dragging um, sorry just clicking and dragging them around like that so you can move them around you can move entire the entire table or just uh, drag them around using the little drag handles at the side or the top and you can add or remove uh, rows or columns by simply touching touching the um, drag handle. So if I go over here and just touch there, I can cut, copy and paste and that sort of thing. And you can also, if I bring my iPad back to how it was uh, a minute ago, uh, down here if I t open the table i got some table options here. So if I tap that, I can copy the table, share the table, convert to text or I can delete the table like that. So I'll just delete it for now because uh, I don't want to have it there at the moment. But that's basically the new table functionality that's been added in so you can now create tables natively in the notes app. Uh, next we've got a few text formatting redesigns here so the panel's just been redesigned to make adjusting the format of text easier. So you've got your styles up there. One thing you'll notice new here, monospaced, so that's something that's been added. So if you want to uh, have that sort of format you can have it. Here you've got your bold and all your other you know formatting options and you've now got quick access to bullets and numbering so you can do that without having to manually type the numbers out and you've also got indentation options here if you want to use those uh, instead of having to just use spaces you can do it like that so that's that you've got checklists obviously we've had that previously so I won't go over that it's very simple anyway but one new uh, section here I'll bring it closer again is the plus icon so if I tap here this gives a, a new set of options um, that we can use so we can take photos or videos f directly from the camera, you can pick something from your photo library or you can add a sketch. We've had these before however a new one is scan documents. So if I tap this, this will actually allow you to scan documents natively on uh, you know, using the camera into the notes app so you don't have to use an app such as like Evernote or uh, Scannable or whatever app you want to be uh, talking about. So I've got it on auto mode at the moment, so if I go here you can see it says auto, I've got manual as well so I can manually just use the shutter to take a picture of what I'm trying to get. Uh, but if you use auto mode as you can see it tries to sort of capture what it thinks is the document you're trying to scan. So I've got a, well, an iPhone box here which has got a bit of white on it so it's attempting to uh, scan that So with its auto scanning capabilities. But I'm just going to just take a picture here in manual mode. Uh, you've got a few filter options here so you can uh, choose between those depending on what you're doing and what kind of lighting you've got you might need to change that but if I just hit the button take a picture it will just give me an option I can choose where the you know I can sort of crop it so if it's like a piece of paper and it's, and it's sort of at an angle what I can do is I can adjust this to the corners of the paper so it fits the screen perfectly and you don't get sort of leaked areas around the edges uh, I can retake or I can just keep scan so if I keep the scan there you can see it straightens it up or does what it can to do to straighten it up and it adds it as a thumbnail down here I can go ahead and add more so if I want to go over here and take one there maybe I get this car in like that keep that so that's added it as a separate page in the same sort of scan set uh, and say if that's all I want I can just tap save and then that's now added it into my note and from here I can just tap it 
I can adjust the crop again. So we'll go back to the original photo and I can adjust the crop if I didn't get it quite right the first time. I can change my filters so I can have access to those again. Let me show you how they are. So you've got grayscale, black and white, or you just got a standard photo if you want to just take what the camera took raw without any sort of enhancements. You can rotate it, so sort of standard stuff, and then you can have your sharing options to share it. And using the plus icon down here, you can add new pages if you decide you need something else, which you didn't do when you initially scanned them. So that's the scanning options. And then finally here we've got the pen options uh, down here. So they're for the sketching options, which we've had before. But next I'm going to just show you the last option within the Notes app, which is if you go to the share icon, we now have lines and grids. So this is where you can actually have different backgrounds on your notes. So for example, if you're a student and you're writing, you might want to have lines. You can choose different spaces, or you might want to have squares, you can have different sizes. So if I choose lines for now, uh, you can see this background has now turned into lines. I don't know how well you can see it on camera, I think it looks alright. Uh, but you can see I've got these lines here and if I've got say an Apple Pencil I can go ahead and just write on here messy handwriting I know uh, it's not my handwriting isn't usually that messy just because I'm writing vertically I'm not used to writing vertically but you get the idea so you get your notes it's just the background so that stays so you don't have to put an image there and write over that you've just got the background which is permanently fixed there you can obviously go ahead and change that later on if you want to just by choosing another one so I can choose squared for example if I'm doing some sort of mathematical calculations or something like that that, that requires squares but that's basically in the notes app so now I'm just going to go into the settings so if I go to settings and you have to scroll down to where it says notes tap on that and from here I'll get these options so we've had that before the new options are here in viewing so you can sort your notes by whatever you want date edited date created or title you can start new notes with whichever type of format you like so whether it's a title heading or body style uh, you can choose the default background for your notes so if you want to have all the time when you launch your notes you want to have lined paper you can have that happen like that or you can have your squares or whatever I tend to keep it on blank uh, because I don't tend to use the lined functionality uh, for every note and then you've got your password options um, you can check my video up there or somewhere there for how to use passwords in notes so you got your options there for that media so you got to save to photos so if you take a photo within the notes app through the camera like I showed you you can have it automatically save that photo to your camera roll I just tend to have that off because I don't want to clog my photo library up with photos I don't necessarily want there and this next section here access notes from lock screen this is to do with Apple pencil enhancements in iOS 11 which I'm doing a separate video on so check that out that will be live tomorrow probably maybe by the time you're watching the video it's already here so just again up here left top right hand corner look for it that'll be there and it's, I'll go through that feature because uh, it only really makes sense if you watch that video and then finally we've got um, only draw with Apple Pencil so basically this means that I've got an Apple Pencil so I've ticked that option so if I'm in the notes app uh, if I use my finger even if I'm on the pen tool it won't actually do anything so my fingers used just for scrolling and if I want to write I use the Apple Pencil so that's basically that option there and that is basically all the notes options let me just bring my iPad back into the middle I've moved it around quite a bit in the video so you can see but that's basically it for notes in iOS 11 so there are many new features that have been added uh, if you've got any questions or comments on anything in this video then do get in contact with me you can do that by using the details in the description of the video or do also leave a comment in the comment section of this video don't forget to like comment and please also subscribe by hitting the logo just here in the middle of the screen and also do consider watching the videos either side um, thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in my next video